let's dive a little deeper and look at the new architecture which is created for new asset accounting. So as part of ECC, from the backend perspective or the data storage perspective, there were multiple tables which were created. Like a, you, you had tables where you had um, actual data, planning data, header data, line item data, all that data is different. But after introduction of S4, all of this comes into two tables. So header data is still available in BKPF and all the line item data comes in ACDOG A. What does it mean that you have to look at only two tables for all your actual data perspective and the data is stored at one place only. There are tables which are there still, which are for different purposes, which are still created like, okay, you have three more tables which are there. So if you go into the details, if you see here the A and E K was a header table for asset accounting perspective, but that data is now part of BKPF. And the data from uh, all other tables like ANEP, ANEK, and uh, others are stored in AC Doc A. Many people have the same confusion that, okay, if you are changing all of this, how will my custom programs will work? If I have any custom programs or if I have some other activities which are uh, which needs to be done from table perspective a retrieval or reporting or something like that how will i do that so to achieve that sab has kept all those tables i wouldn't say all but most of those tables in a view compatibility views so that you can have that you can still retrieve the data from those views so those views are sitting on top of ac doc a so that you can access the data through those views so your custom programs can still work if you are using classical asset accounting today and if you're using sap and classic asset accounting in acc it when you are doing the migration from ECC into S4 HANA, it mostly transforms automatically into new asset accounting. There are certain uh, transactions, mandatory steps you will have to follow. If you follow those steps, then your asset accounting will automatically get converted into new asset accounting. There are ways which, which uh, you, can, you can achieve it by doing those activities now the statistical data which is needed from tax perspective or some other reasons from uh, for the organization is stored in a separate table which is faat underscore doc underscore it so statistical data is not part of ac doc a it is stored separately. Earlier, ooh, the data was like, okay, actual data as well as statistical data were stored in multiple tables and they were defined in a different way, header and line item details perspective. Now, actual data is separated from, from uh, statistical data. Similarly, the planning data is also sitting separately into FAAT underscore plan underscore value table so so that you can you can access all planning data from one place only and it doesn't go into AC doc a. so your plan data is different your statistical data is different and your actual data is different so it's pivoted into a different way 
the way it was earlier. So from financial reporting perspective or GL account integration perspective, all actuals are coming together and no redundancy. There are certain controlling tables also, which are being used currently and like COBK not changing, COEP, half of that is staying in COEP, but some of that is going into AC DOCA, like because AC DOCA is also management accounting. So there are certain things which are like cost center and things like that are going into AC DOCA. DOCA. COSP and COSS, those were the two previous tables which are completely going into AC DOCA. From transaction type perspective, and we will touch on this one, we will discuss uh, in detail about transaction type uh, later on, but that table is also converted into a cluster view. So the TABWA table is, is converted into a cluster view and not really a table anymore. One more change from statistical data perspective is that in asset accounting, classical asset accounting, you may have one depreciation area in a foreign currency that post periodically to the general ledger. Uh, if you say like in customizing, you can go and define the depreciation area and you can select that, okay, the option that this post holdings and depreciation periodically. But in new asset accounting, you can no longer do that. And foreign currency depreciation areas are statistical postings only. And they don't post to general ledger at all. So all the data which is related to foreign currency depreciation areas is managed in statistical, de statistical um, area and uh, it's all considered as statistical data uh, and doesn't go into AC doc A rather stored into statistical data table. 